Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I am going to let you know about some of the very important points related to spectroscopic terms. Now, with the help of these points, you will easily be able to solve the questions based on this topic. Now, let's quickly start the discussion and let me just tell you all these important points. And one more thing, if you are new on this channel, you can subscribe the channel. Also, click on the bell icon to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos which I will upload on this channel. So, guys, if I am going to talk about the very first point, this is like if you are having any closed shell or completely filled shell, clear? So if I am going to talk about S, in the S orbital we can just fill 2 electrons. So you can see here I have written S2, in P we can fill 6 electrons maximum, so P6, D10, F14. For all these cases, okay, if any one of these cases is existing in any of the electronic configuration, okay? for any given atom. So guys, in that case, what will happen? In that case, the spectroscopic term notation corresponding to that element for which you are writing the electronic configuration will be 1s0. It is fixed. You don't even need to work with some particular procedure or you don't even need to spend time in this. Directly you can write that is 1s0. If the last shell which is given to you that is a closed shell or completely filled any one of these then if the spectroscopic term notation will be 1s0 clear next thing guys for inverted multiplets the spectroscopic term notations will always be same okay what i mean by inverted multiplets see in the p orbital or in p shell we can fill maximum how many electrons six Let's say right now I'm talking about P2. Clear? So P in which two electrons are present. So its inverted multiplet will be P6 minus 2, that means P4. Similarly, P1 inverted multiplet will be P5. For D2, it will be D8 because in D we can fill just 10 electrons, maximum number of electrons. So for D2, D10 minus 2, that means D8. So for this and this, P2 and D8, for D, P1 and P5, for P2 and P4, spectroscopic term notations will be same. Like whatever spectroscopic terms you are going to get, that will be same for first two, for next two and for last two. Clear? Similarly for all other cases, whenever you are taking the case of inverted multiplet, spectroscopic term will be same for them. But, but there is one more thing. If somebody is asking you to find the ground state spectroscopic term. So guys in that case you have to follow the Hunt's rule and according to that you will write the ground state. Okay, a spectroscopic term. So there can be change. For one it can be the other value. For other one it can be different value. Clear? So that will be different or that can be different. Clear? But the total number of terms will be same. Next thing. Let's talk about the Bright's scheme here, which we have discussed in the a previous ses uh, session or previous video, okay, which I have uploaded before this one. So guys, here I am going to talk about D2 or D8. So if I am going to talk about the orbital, what will be the orbital quantum number for this? That is L is equal to 2. So now what we will do, we will write the values of ML1 and ML2 in this manner here. And the ML values will be from minus L to plus L. Clear? So it's going to be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. But in the Bright's scheme, when we make this structure, we write them as plus L to minus L. As I have written that here, in the same manner, you can even write it. Clear? So it makes the thing simple, easy and very much clear. So that's why we just follow these steps. Next. Uh, in the previous video, I have already told you or discussed this thing like how we will make this structure, what are the steps we need to follow. So just by following those steps, we are going to write these values at 2 plus 2, that's 4, 2 plus, sorry, 1 plus 2, that's 3, then 0 plus 2, it's 2, minus 1 plus 2, it's 1, similarly, last one, minus 2 and plus 2, 0, 2 plus 1, 3, 
1 plus 1, 2 and in the same way we will just write all the terms. Next thing, so for diagonal values, okay, the ML1 and ML2 will be same. So in that case, spin should be different. Diagonally we are having 4, 2 and 0. Clear? So for 4, 2 and 0, S1 and S2 will be same. Uh, uh, will not be same because ML1 and ML2 are same. Just to satisfy the Pauli's exclusion principle, we do it in this way. Next thing, when S1 and S2 are not same, we consider they are half and minus half. One is half, another one is minus half. To, to, uh, then in that case, total spin will be S is equal to 0 since one is positive, another one is negative. After this guys, for L is equal to 1 and 3, okay, you can see uh, 1 is here, 3 is here or even you can check it in this way. So 0, 1 and this is for 2 here and this one is for 3. So you have already found that for 4, 2, 0 it's going to be spin 0. Clear? For remaining ones that means 1 and 3 spin will be 1 because spin values can be same. Okay. But ML1 and ML2 are different for 3 and 1. Clear? Next thing. Corresponding to these values, how we will write the spectroscopic terms. So guys, for that, we have followed this uh, procedure here. For S is equal to 0, L can be 4, 2 and 0. Clear? So I have noted down here. Then I have written the spectroscopic terms by using the symbol that is 2S plus 1 Lj. Where J is the angular momentum quantum number. Its value will lie uh, or uh, will be between... My L minus S to L plus S. Not just in between values, even including the extreme values. Clear? So you will get 0, 1 and 2. For this case, when you are having S is equal to 1 and L is equal to 1, after simplifying it, you will get these values of J. Why? For these cases, since spin is 0, you will get the direct values exactly same as the value of L. That is 4, 2 and 0. Clear? Depending on the values of L we write, the capital L value. So for L is equal to 4, capital L will be G. G. Here, then for L is equal to 2, capital L will be T. For L is equal to 0, capital L will be S. So that's how we are just going to write it. And J is L minus S to L plus S. But in this case, S is 0, so J will remain same as L, which means 4, 2 and 0, as I have written it here. Then it is like singulate states. Why? Because 2S plus 1 will give you 1, 1, 1. Similarly, we will write for rest of the terms as I have written here. Okay, so this is going to be the next uh, spectroscopic term corresponding to L is equal to 3 and L S is equal to 1. This is going to be the another spectroscopic term. You can even write them separately like 3P0, 3P1 and 3P2. But I have written it like together right now. Okay, so this was for S is equal to 1 and L is equal to 1. I hope if you will just observe and analyze these values, you will get them very easily and they will be clear to you. Okay, and the steps and procedure, everything will be clear to you. But still, if you are having any doubt anywhere, you can let me know about that and we will try to discuss those values soon. So thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end. If you will have any doubt anywhere, you can just comment below this video and I will try to make it clear to you. Also guys, I would like to tell you about the Unacademy Plus subscription. So if you want to get the guidance by all the top educators, we are having on Unacademy Plus for your exam preparation. You can even take the Unacademy Plus subscription for that. And after taking the Unacademy Plus subscription, you will get so many benefits like weekly quizzes, doubt clearing sessions, mock tests, PDF of important notes, recordings of the live classes will be available to you Okay, after the class. Also guys, one more thing, so if any day you will not be able to attend the live session, you will be able to watch the recordings. Another thing is by using the referral code Anjali Arora and by applying it, you will get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. So you just need to write the Anjali Arora and no space in between and after writing it, just apply it. Okay, and one more thing guys, that is what are the steps you need to take to uh, get the Unacademy Plus subscription. So guys, first of all, download the Unacademy Learning app, then log into the app, then select your goal. Your goal will be CSR UGC Net if you are preparing for CSR Net Physics exam. After that, 
you just need to click on the three lines present in the left hand side corner then click on plus then click on get subscription and follow the further steps and just by following the further steps you will easily be able to take the an academy plus subscription and at the place of referral code write the referral code anjali arora apply it and get the 10% discount in the total an academy plus subscription amount as well thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you